this is a good example of a refrigerant stopping leaking after you put refrigerant in it and you have hot refrigerant pumping through this condenser whoops nothing this is filled with refrigerant now from video number one i made the video number one about this and i had high pressure nitrogen in here and it i could hear it leaking down in there somewhere so loud that i could be this far away and i could hear it and you can see it on the meter i was standing out in front of the vehicle from two feet away and i could point towards the front of the condenser and you can see the bar meter go up and i could hear it in my ears but now i ran the vehicle for five minutes with refrigerant in it there's nothing dead silent and i have uv dye in it too right now and i went down there i put the uv light in there there's nothing i put the refrigerant leak detector there's nothing i use the ultrasonic there's nothing this leak has completely sealed up right now so this is one of those situations where you get really frustrated looking for a leak if you didn't use the nitrogen with the nitrogen at least i pinpointed the area but i can't prove it now that i have refrigerant and i have uv dye in it nothing is showing up to pinpoint the leak only with the high pressure nitrogen so that's what happens sometimes and i see a lot of the owners and uh, service managers get angry at technicians for not finding the leak when it was inside their shop and this is one of the reasons why heat expands metal and sometimes it will open it up and sometimes it will close it and this is one of those situations where under this pressure under this temperature there's absolutely no leak to be identified all right next video